Kramer Kramer here, and today I have something new. Uh, this is not something that I got in the mail. This is actually something that I searched for and found in the store. This is a 1989 Batman replica Batarang made by NECA. And when I heard that this was coming out, um, I had to grab it. Um, the 89 Batman was huge for me as a kid. Um, like most people my age, um, 89 Batman was huge. I was born in 88, so it was a big part of my childhood. I remember watching it like crazy. Um, also led off to, to Batman the Animated Series. Um, believe it or not, I'm a huge Prince fan, and I, I, I like to think that some of that has to do with the, the Prince um, music in the first movie. Um, as well. So when I saw that this was coming out, I had to jump on it. I love the, you know, Michael Keaton uh, Batman movies. I have a, a Michael Keaton, Jack Nicholson, signed 8x10. I have a Batman 89, um, Batmobile. Um, and I think what I'm going to do now is kind of put all those things together as like a little bit of a display. So when I heard about this, I was like, oh yeah. And I expected this to be crazy expensive. And then I saw somebody post on Facebook that it was like, I don't know, like 20 bucks, 30 bucks. So I was like, okay. And then when I went to Walmart, it was 13 bucks. So I definitely jumped on that. So let's see how, <laughs> I'm already liking this. All right. So nothing else in the box. This is how it comes out like this. Looks like this is the base, which is kind of cheap plastic, not the coolest, but I mean, at the end of the day, the base, that's just kind of extra, right? So you're going to kind of hear, sounds like a milk carton, you know? But the big thing here is the battery. Oh yeah. Now obviously it's plastic. <laughs> but the cool thing is, is that just like in the uh, movie, it folds apart. You can kind of throw it like that. Um, yeah. Definitely plastic. Um, it doesn't really feel cheap. It's pretty cool, honestly. See, the tips are kind of that silver. Love the way it looks. Definitely looks like it would um, from the movie. Um, as for how I would place it in here, I'd assume you just kind of place it like so, and you're good to go, you know? And it folds all the way down to this. And you can completely unfold it. I was kind of hoping it would be die cast, you know, instead of just plastic. Um, but overall, I mean... It's pretty cool, you know? I mean, I definitely would have rather it being die cast, but obviously if it was die cast, it would, it would cost a little bit more. It definitely wouldn't be 15 bucks. It probably would be closer to 50, you know? Uh, lowest, maybe 30. Um, but overall, this is a pretty cool little collector's item for like, you know, and at the end of the day, you're not really breaking the bank. And how often can you get like a little collector's item for Batman 89 that, you know, won't break the bank. 13 bucks? That's not bad. And it's kind of interesting because we just got the news yesterday that um, they're going to make like Batman 89 continuation comics set after Batman Returns, you know, sharing um, Michael Keaton's likeness, you know, and probably Michelle Pfeiffer's um, Catwoman. And they even showed a Joker thug, like the leader of the Joker gang, and he was totally modeled on the way Prince looked in the Party Man music video. So that's pretty great, too. I'll be honest with you. I love this box. All right? Like, I'm almost more psyched about this box than I am about the, um, the case. Because it's just so... I mean, look. You got the bright yellow right there. I mean, when you see that, you don't think Dark Knight. You don't think, you know, uh, Batman versus Superman. You, th you know, immediately you see that emblem, you think 1989 Batman. Um... Yeah, and there's, you know, it's seven inches across. Some info on the back. Only thing I don't like about this 
It's that big old thirteen dollar sticker on there. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Yeah, they're gonna show you about how you can fold it all up and whatnot. So you know, different kind of video, guys. Um, I got some more stuff I can show you guys, but today I was just really psyched about this. I was like, you know what? I'll make a video. I haven't seen anybody really make a video yet. I'm sure there's some out there, but I haven't stumbled across them. So, you know, once more, the display, kind of cheapish, but it's cool. Look, it says Batman on it, you know? I mean, you can put this on a shelf somewhere and it'll kind of look cool, you know? But, um, it wouldn't be a bad idea to maybe put this in a shadow box, you know, with my Batmobile and maybe throw my... 8x10 in there too. That'd be a pretty cool little display. But anyway, this is uh, Kramer Kramer and uh, Toodaloo.